Game number two, Tali going for Slowbro, Hooper, Buzzful, Ninetales, and probably a Scyther. We do see a Scissor, but up against Lapras, Mew, Dojo, Edigos, and Venusaur. Probably gonna be a Scyther, most likely. Four special attack Pokemon on the enemy team. You don't, you don't want to play Scissor into a Venusaur with a Beam, into a Mew, Edigos, Lapras. I don't think you want to do that, but who knows? Maybe Utah is uh, feeling it. Maybe he's feeling it, so uh, who knows? I would like to see a Scizor, but I mean, Scyther is also obviously amazing. It's still a Pokemon. Hasn't seen much play lately, but it's still quite, quite nice. Utah's gonna take over this Andraria. And yeah, we have the double beam comp. This is what TTV plays all the time. We have the double solar beam team comp with Venusaur and Mew. It's so much poke late game. You gotta be very careful. First last on the right side goes over to Mew. I'm gonna try to maybe steal this one away as well, but doesn't so this time Toonsim is able to secure it. And uh, Buzz already very aggressive on top path. Klaus might be slowly going down, but huge face stinger damage comes in. Young Leon has the Jack button away. Was a bit scared of maybe getting chased down. So yeah, Nine Tails, yeah, Toonstim is gonna have a terrible time against this double Soda Beam team comp. That is for sure. Next last hit, it goes over to the side of the slow bro. Evolution done now. Why is everyone coaching on level 1 these days? Otter, I'm asking the same. I'm wondering the same. I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Someone said you get more boosted auto attacks, but I feel like it's not even more boosted auto attacks, right? Like, surely light screen gives you the same amount of boosted auto attacks, right? I don't, I don't know either. I, I don't, I don't understand. Not going light screen just feels like grief. I just can't. I, I, yeah, I don't get it. I mean, the sheet is quite nice. Maybe you can poke a bit more, but... Yeah, maybe if you get ganked first by the jungler, but... It's quite nice, and there, there we go, there's the Scyther for Yutao. But I still think it's not, I think, yeah, Light Screen is... Should be the way to go, I'm gonna be very honest. So far, not a single point has scored, has been scored, so... Lau's still not an attack rate stack in. Same for the Scyther, same for Dodrio. None of them have any stacks. Back to bot path, Knight has able to secure this one, puts him down level 6, has the, has the Blizzard. And I'm just coming to take a lot of damage right here, but has the focus bent up. Then look and look for the combo onto Lapras. Lapras stuck in the blizzard. Taking down first care of the game. MU as well. Coaches in. Huge escape. And also taken down. And we have 30, 28 points going in. And Megu's not gonna score because it would break the goal. There's the coaching value. Coming through for the side of Gigashad. And you house on level 8 now. Level 8 Scyther. Not Dodo, jump kick, drip hack onto the Hooper, but Hooper has the hyperspace portal. It's gonna fully just reset. Is Glaceon still banned? High sick is Spear still banned, yeah. Just because it was uh, banned in the last tournament, in the qualifier, they have to keep it banned, even though it's fixed now. And But Icy Wind is allowed. Icy Wind is allowed. Klaus going with the superpower is gonna get drip hacked right here onto the top side, but they're gonna try to follow up on it. Hyperspace port on the ground, anyways. And yeah, Yutao is on his way to level 9. On the right side, we still have Young Leon looking for level 7. And uh, he's gonna take the blue buff and get Solar Beam ready. Or even without it already. I assume it's gonna be Solar Beam. Because he has the jack button. Yeah, it's gonna be Solar Beam. Beam or Saw and Solar Beam on Mew is gonna be very annoying to deal against or deal play with. And uh, we have actually Scyther going for the Regilecki. Here should not try and go for this Reggie Rock. Toon Slim is gonna try to see the way with the Blizzard Avalanche combo, but Scyther is also here and goes over to Mew. Now Yutao's gonna jump in with the Unite move maybe onto the Mew as well, but he's gonna not find the reset yet. The reactivation doesn't quite uh, connect and he only gets one so far. Edigos goes down. They're gonna try to dive this goal now, jumping in onto Lapras, gets comboed by the Night Tails. Can they find another dual wing beat onto the Lapras? Yes, they can. Also taken down. KO goes over to uh, Night Tails. But Mew not trying to chase on Toon Slim. Boost auto attack. Electro Ball is going to be enough damage. And they're gonna at least take down Toon Slim. They was jumping forward right now. Leaves the hyperspace port at this Phantom Force. He's gonna take it. Koopa is a very balanced fair Pokemon. I say this every single day. I feel like every single game. Ridiculous Pokemon. Nonsense hyperspace portal. Nonsense. Alright, next Ataria spawn. Klaus is also level 9 now. They're looking, of course, for level 11, where you get the superpower plus. That is when you we become very, very strong. And uh, Yang Dian also hitting level 9 right now. I 
I mean, Taro is already level 11. He's going to deal a lot of damage, but so is Young Lee and not Dodo. An excellent speedster player. Pretty much a Zorak Dodo U2 trick at this point. So, I'm not sure actually what else he plays when those two are gone. Klaus trying to go around, but Dodo does spot him, spot him out. Klaus looking for the invade right here. But he's gonna get flanked now, maybe by the Eddigos as well. Oh, Scythe are going into Dodo, but it's also Dodo Unite coming through. Both speedsters trying to fight, but their drip pack comes in. You have very low HP, can get the hyperspace port, and they're both safe. They're gonna take the hyperspace port, but they're gonna return. Venus Unite's gonna completely whiff though. But he's so is going to hit by Eddigos Unite. Dodges the bus for Unite, flies back up into the air. It's gonna heat up the teammates. Lapras also here now. They're gonna wave down the bus for it. They get at least one KO. You toss the round, but the rest of his team is nowhere to be found. Hi, uh, Hooper's trying to go to top left now, but they're going to break the goal in time. And close the gap to just 15 points. Toonsim's going to start working on this, but we still have Mew around. And Mew can easily see this away if he uh, gets some positioning. He has Unite as well. Is he going to try to go for it? The beam is way too early. And Toonsim is able to secure the Registeel. Actually, Hooper was the one securing it. That beam was very early. Oh, was, uh, yeah. It's a nice try. I'm surprised he didn't just unite move in, but maybe he just doesn't want to commit for it. It's just the Registeer. I mean, it's a good idea. It's alright. Not the end of the world as long as no one goes down. Game is still pretty even right now. Klaus defending top. There's level 11 superpower plus. Every single time Muscle Gauge fully fits up, superpower's cooldown gets reset. Very, very strong. You can do super power into smackdown into super power. Now Dodo is around looking for the drill pack. Klaus against the Dodo, but don't stray from the smackdown. That's gonna be the end of this fight for now. Scythe are also not sneaking around. They want to break this goal right now. They want to maybe go for this Dodo, but they're gonna use the Hooper Unbound to actually go towards bot path after being annoying top. We're gonna to try to break this goal right here. Maybe scoring those 40 points. Bus for taking down Venusaur, flying into the air, smashing on Eldegoss into the ground. That's three people of gear shot retired. But Dodo trying to turn around. He gets one, he gets two. Looking for Toonsome next, but the drill pack gets eject button away from. But still double kill, at least for the Dodrio. The goal gets broken. But not too bad. And Venus for the heavy knife move up now, but uh, both teams are just gonna farm now for level for the uh, Zeptos fight. Zeptos fight. Yeah, Zeptos fight, yeah. Of course, the Rayquaza fight. Level 12 now for Young Leon. Getting close to level 13. And Dodo also highest seven in the game right now on 14 almost. So this Dodo is massive. Level 14. But he's up against Slowbro again. So if he goes into deep, Mago's gonna keep his Unite Move button for Dodrio. I would guarantee that he's not gonna use it besides that. Unless Dodrio is gonna go in. At least that's what I would do. Let me see if they have a maybe a different plan of going for a different target. But yeah, like it's it's just impossible for Dodri to play the game until Slowbro Unite is gone. Because he just can't make a play happen. Unless you find like a huge flank, use Perma CC people, like drip pack into Unite move, get Perma CC. That for sure you can do something, but besides that, it's gonna be very difficult. Ray is up now. Small 55 point lead for the self Tali. And the Sky Poke is coming through. What's a surprise? Mago's playing so much Sky today. And not Surf. Stack game already in a row where he plays Sky Bro. Just trying to poke a tiny bit. But now the beams have to start hit B hitting. This is the double beam comp. They have to hit beam over beam. But they are against Super and uh, Hooper hyperspace portal, right? And always just reset the teammates back to base very fast. Back to full HP. But so far they're not trying really too much. They're poking a tiny bit but only going into slow bro. And there's the hyperspace portal. May go back to full HP. Pretty much instantly. And uh, Gearshot to tie the other ones have to do something this game. Again. So they have to, want to, to be the ones that do engage. Again, Poké may go tiny bit. There's the double solar beam. May go to half HP, but... You can guess it. Hyperspace port is there. Takes another one. Klaus now engaging onto Dodrio, but he might be caught as well. See, Jack button away. Drip Pack is going to miss. Lapras activating Unite move right here. Looking for the engage, but there's only a slow bro. Make sure you don't bump into it. It gets blocked by the Avalanche. Looking for something, but Night hits a safe under the goal. Looking for the flank now, maybe onto Zervas. There's the wave hitting onto two members. And the double beam! The double beam Hooper. Zervas gets one shot. And the double beam. Toonstam has you. Nightwolf doesn't really do anything. 
Der ist das Hobby, und das ist die Unite Proof of Venusaur. They're gonna try to go for Klaus next. Klaus low on HP. And like, no, 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 is around. The Unite Proof is not gonna do all too much. But Klaus at least gets one. But it's three people down now for Tali Believers. There's Slow Greenlight going on to Lapras. He's trying to live for Mega Red here. Toonslim looking for Lapras, but it's four people down. It's all down to Toonslim right now. I don't think he can do it. He's gonna go down as well. The Gear Shot Gaming. 15 seconds left. They're gonna score points. And they take the second game. They blow up Hooper in a Lapras double beam. Wow. And Gear Shot Retired Edition takes the second game against Tali.